In this video, we will have a look at the Council of Civil Service Unions and the Minister for the Civil Service, or the GCHQ case. The Government Communications Headquarters, or GCHQ, was a branch of the civil service, whose main functions were to ensure the security of the United Kingdom, military and official communications, and to provide signals intelligence for the government. All the staff at GCHQ had a long-standing right, originating from when GCHQ was formed in 1947, to belong to national trade unions, and most of them did so. The unions represented at GCHQ were all members of an association of civil service unions, and there was an established practice at GCHQ of consultation between the management and the unions about important alterations in the terms and conditions of employment of the staff. On seven occasions between 1979 and 1981, industrial action was taken at GCHQ, causing disruption. On the 22nd of December 1983, the Minister for the Civil Service issued an oral instructions to the effect that the terms and conditions of the civil servants of GCHQ would be revised to exclude membership of any trade union other than the Departmental Staff Association approved by the Director of GCHQ. This instruction was issued without prior consultation with the staff at GCHQ. The appellants applied for judicial review of the Minister's instruction, stating that the Minister had acted unfairly in removing their fundamental right to belong to a trade union, without consultation. The High Court granted the application on the ground that the Minister ought to have consulted the staff before issuing the instruction. The Minister appealed to the Court of Appeal, and the Court of Appeal allowed it on the ground of national security. Thanks a lot for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a thumbs up. Also, if you want to let me know of what other cases you would like me to explain, leave a comment below. Have fun, stay safe, and obey the law. See you in the next lesson.